Ladies and gentlemen, last night I got to go to the Death Cab for Cutie concert at the Midland Theater here in Kansas City. Now, Death Cab for Cutie has been one of my favorite bands, actually is my favorite band and has been since I was 17. They came here right at the start of my freshman year of college and uh, actually lied and said I went uh, to get back at this girl because I'm petty and uh, I didn't go. But that's an experience I, I wanted at least from like I said, the time I was 17 on, but I finally got to see him last night, and let me tell you, they are so good live. actually their first stop on the tour so when they were performing uh, he was performing one of the album or uh, songs off his new album and he stopped the music because something was off in the computer like it was glitching and he's like we got to restart this we got to restart this because it just isn't what it's supposed to sound like and I was like this is awesome like I kind of like to see that real experience with an artist especially you know we're getting ready to start like a super long tour uh, for their brand new album and it was really cool because they actually did an encore and they did like uh, three or four songs actually and we got to see Ben Gibbard, who's the lead singer of the band. He just went out there like acoustic solo and just started rocking it out. Hands clasped so tightly, waiting for the hint of the spark. If heaven and hell decide that they both are satisfied. And I thought that was a super, super cool experience. You can call me lame, whatever, for loving Death Cat for Cutie. But uh, I'm going to see Big Sean and Casey Veggies next month. I like all types of music. Um, it's just, I, I think like they're, them lyrically are is just like some untouched shit. Like I just really like Death Cab for that purpose. And I was so glad that I got to see him last night. But I want to talk to you guys about the people that show up to concerts. Ready? There's, there's a few different types of people. I'm this guy at the concert, right? Like I know all the words like, love of mine, someday you, you know what I'm saying? Like I like, I sing along. Usually I got like this going on where I'm like, you know, I'm like tapping my foot and shit. I just got back from the gym, by the way. I uh, threw up today, so that's a pretty solid start to the day. I'll explain to you guys here in a video in a couple days why I'm going to the gym and why I'm drinking like healthy smoothies and shit. But uh, lots of curse words today, today's vlog. I'm just excited and awake. It's actually not 1 p.m. yet. I've been awake since 11, so that <laughs> changes. But uh, yeah, then you have these type of people at concerts. You ready? Drunk people, my least favorite kind of people. I'm talking like wasted. Last night, I turn around and I, I like to eavesdrop on conversations. And uh, this guy was with his, his girlfriend or wife or whatever, and they were probably like in their mid thirties. And he was like, "Baby, I got, baby, I got, I got more beer in the trunk. I got more beer in the trunk." And she's like, "Babe, go get the beer in the trunk. We'll drink it in the garage, babe." And he's like, "Babe, I'm asking you right now. Do you want the beer in the trunk?" She's like, "I just said I want the beer in the trunk." And I'm sitting in front of him, I'm like, "God, just get the get the beer, man. Come on, just shut up and." Drive unsafe like you're going to anyways and get your DUI for the night. And then you have these people, right? The kid that dances like this. Like, I don't know what you're on. Are you are you on acid? Are you on some Zanny bars? You, you on some Molly right now? You're like on another planet. You know what I mean? On some next level dancing. Like you're cool with that. You know what I mean? And then you have the person that sets their drink down when they're done with it that still has a little bit in it. And there's a lot of ice. And I just want to say you should be murdered because I am always next to the person that does that and then they just walk away and I end up kicking over a rum and coke and it goes all over my shoes and I love my shoes. So if you're that person, you're that person that does that, you're a bad person and I don't really think you should be allowed to go to concerts if you're going to hopefully uh, create a skating rink for everyone else that attends. But yeah, you know, concerts in general, dope. I've been to a ton of them, mostly hip hop, and I wanna go to more concerts. And if you're in Kansas City, you'll probably, you're probably probably gonna see me at whatever concert's gonna be here. So that's gonna be exciting. And uh, I'm super pumped. Also, I might be going to UNG Cali to compete, but that's that would be a surprise. We'll see if that ends up happening. I just wanted to update you guys on what's going on, what happened last night, what's cracking in my life. I threw up at the gym today, as I already told you. 
And uh, that's the end of this video. I just really, I don't know, I was excited. I'm awake. It's, I'm pumped. Um, shit's outside. So, I mean, yeah, I love you guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed this rant and come over, come over to my house and we'll make Egos. I love Egos. I come from humble beginnings. Just like every other American, I make my own breakfast. I do my own hair and I get dressed.